Hello everyone, this is Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb. In the 1930s, aircraft development was all about speed and altitude. But the Germans, in their preparation for war, saw a need for performance at the lower end of the spectrum. The result? The Fiesler Stork. It was an amazing stole aircraft, capable of practically vertical takeoff and landings. The same attributes that made the Stork such a valuable wartime asset are finding favor in the light sport market. Now a Florida company is importing a three-quarter scale stork and selling it in the U.S. I'm Dennis Carley from UFly at Light Sport Aircraft. This is our 75% uh, scale uh, Fieser stork uh, replica. It's uh, true as uh, we can make it to the, uh, the original German World War II aircraft. Um, available in SLSA ready to fly, ELSA kit, and 51% amateur build experimental kit point out a couple things on the airplane. It's a, a phenomenal STOL airplane because of a few features. One is uh, 40 degrees of flaps where the ailerons extend down with the flaps when the flaps are extended. has leading edge uh, slats which are fixed allowing for uh, slower, uh, slower stall speeds and slower uh, flight. Um, you can see the rugged landing gear so it's, uh, it's able to, to take off and land in rugged terrain. Motax 912S powered, 100 horsepower, uh, in, in the amateur built experimental category it can be built and flown with as uh, high of an engine as a Lycoming 0320 and uh, can be flown as uh, up to 1600 pounds in the uh, amateur built experimental category. Takeoff, uh, takeoff and landing uh, performance is uh, probably the biggest feature, uh, the biggest selling point of the, of the Stork. It is a, um, a roughly a 60 to 70 foot takeoff roll and about an equal amount of landing distance. Um, the Pretty much when you're watching this from the sidelines, power comes up, tail comes up, airplane comes off the ground and it's uh, climbing at a high angle of attack. It's been in production for about four years. The component uh, parts for the airframe are manufactured in Columbia and shipped here to our facility in Florida where finally uh, assembly is done and uh, certification is, uh, is achieved. There are uh, 16 of them flying currently with uh, engines ranging from the Rotex uh, 912S up to the uh, Lycoming 0320. Uh, ready to fly SLSA with the uh, uh, Rotax 912S standard uh, analog panel and a two blade fixed pitch prop like you see it here behind you is uh, 88,000 ready to fly. ELSA kit which is about 100 hours of assembly time is uh, 49,500 and the 51% amateur built kit is 29,500.